sorry, Miguel. I'm sure you're a really nice person. I wish that I could remember what happened before the fire. And I wish that I could explain why I feel afraid of you. Don't worry about it, Charity. I mean, you've been through a lot. And your memories will come back one of these days. I hope so. Just don't push yourself, Charity. Let things come back to you when you're ready. Yeah, your Aunt Grace is right. All you need to know is you have family and friends and people who love you. I can't wait to introduce you to all my friends. <laughs> And you and Kay are in the same grade, so I'm sure you share classes. I know she's going to love that. I promised your mother that I was going to look after you. From now on, you're going to be another daughter to us. <laughs> I just told Kay the news. She couldn't be more thrilled. Well, where is she anyway? Oh, um, still outside. She's too emotional to come back in just yet. You see? You're going to have two loving cousins that are like sisters to you. I don't know what to say. Thank you for making me feel so welcome. You're very welcome. In fact, more than you can imagine. This is so great. I mean, you don't remember, but I showed you around Harmony. Kind of gave you a tour. You said you loved the town. I did? Yeah, and you said you never wanted us to be apart. Now we won't be. Uh, Jessica, why don't you and Miguel take Cherry out for a walk? Get her acquainted with the new neighborhood. Good idea. You don't mind, do you, Miguel? Mind? No, not at all. Not if Charity doesn't mind. Well, no. It sounds like fun. Great. Let's go. Darn, I got a rock in my shoe. Um, you guys go on ahead. I'll, I'll catch up with you. Um, that's okay. We'll wait. It's all right, Charity. Be right behind you. Come on. I'll show you around the neighborhood. Mrs. Hayward down the street has a really beautiful garden. She even has a fountain right in front. Would you like to see it? Um, sure. Charity! I just heard the good news. I'm so happy you're coming to live with us. Thank you, Kay. Are you sure you don't mind? Mind? I'm thrilled. <laughs> thrilled? That's not... Ow! I just cannot wait for us to start being sisters, Charity. Why don't we go back to the house and I'll help you set up your new room? Miguel and I were showing Charity the neighborhood. Well, why don't we go get you settled in and then I'll show you the neighborhood, okay? Okay. Could anyone ask for a better friend than Kay Bennett? Hey, Charity. How was the walk around the neighborhood? To bring back any memories? Oh, no. Um, I did like what I saw, though. Harmony's a great place, Charity. I mean, you're gonna love the high school. And you're enrolling just in time for the big Halloween dance. Is it a very big school? Mm, it may seem a little big to you at first. I mean, I know you're homeschooled, so you've never gone to school with other kids before. Really? Yeah. Gosh, it's so weird how you guys know more about me than I do. No, well, don't worry about it, Charity. You know, I'm sure you're feeling a little overwhelmed right now. Hey, which is understandable. We don't want you to rush into anything. I want you to take all the time you need to start your new life. And to make the transition smooth, we're going to give you all the space that you need. Yeah, I'm sure Kay won't mind. No, I'm sure Kay will understand. We think it's what's best for you, Charity. We'll understand what, Mom? You're going to move back in with Jessica. That way, Charity can have your new room all to herself. Oh, here we go. You want me to give up my room? Yes, dear. You want me to give it to Charity? Well, if it's all right with you, Kay. Mrs. Bennett, Kay's been wanting to be in that room for a long, long time. Kay, I wouldn't think of taking your room. I would be happy to live with Jessica. Don't be silly, Charity. You should have your own room. Like, like Dad said, it'll help you make the transition. And besides, you're used to having your own room. Kay and I are used to living together. That's right, Charity. But won't it just make the fighting worse? No, not at all. Even if we do fight sometimes, Kay and I love sharing a room. Don't we, Kay? I'm sure Kay won't mind giving up a room if it's best for you, Charity. Well, okay. 
It's up to you. It's your decision. Kay would do anything for you, Charity, right, Kay? Right, Miguel. Sure. I'll move back in with Jessica. This is it. Your new room. At least it will be once Kay gets all her junk out of here. I love it, Kay. I can't believe you're being so nice to me. Excuse me I Tom. can't believe how lucky we are to have you here, Charity. <sighs> These are the things that Chief and Mrs. Bennett bought for you. Oh, thanks for bringing them up. No problem. You guys have the nicest parents in the whole world. Well, they want you to think of them as your parents too, Charity. I'll try. Oh, hey, I love this video game. Do you play, Charity? No, I don't know how. Well, Kay's got it all set up, so I could teach you. Um, I don't know, Miguel. Let Miguel teach you, Charity. He's the best. Kay, maybe I should help you move some of your stuff back in your old room. Well, I'll just have to clean out some drawers. You know, I'm sure Jessica's stuff is spread out all over the place. Hey, maybe now that you'll be living here, you'll remember some of the wonderful times we had together before the fire.